<laughs> okay. So, may regret. Nakita natin yan, no? On the part of the DOT. May restitution dahil sinabi nila wala naman daw lumabas sa pera at sinabi rin ng DDB. Again, we're trying to accept everything on face value, ah. Tapos, Tama. I suppose, may reform dahil sinabi nila uh, mas pagagandahin pa. So, nagkulang sa responsibility. Dito ba dapat mag-apologize din yung DOT? I would. If I was, uh, if I was advising them or if I was ano, I would. Uh, a heartfelt apology dahil, again, uh, anybody who knows and perhaps even uh, even the common tao knows naman, di ba? Alam naman nila na kapag kliyente ang DOT, kaysa gobyerno yan, malaking korporasyon, may sign off yan, may approval yan. So it's a shared responsibility. And you know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to say for whatever shortcomings we had, uh, nagkulang po kami, kung nagkulang po man kami sa aming uh, fact-checking or sa sa pagbubusisi uh, sa video na ito, uh, humihingi po kami ng, uh, ng inyong paumanhin. Hindi naman mahirap gawin yun eh. I, I would have, I think the Filipino people would have appreciated that. It would have gone a long way. And it doesn't take anything away from the agency. Okay. Ito pa isang gusto itanong, no? Kasi usap-usapan din sa social media na meron daw nakailam. Na iba yung production team or production house na ginamit nung uh, or na gumawa nung mismo mood video. Eh kahit hindi pag-usapan yan sa mga ganitong discussions, pinag-uusapan siya all over social media, no? Oh, sa tingin mo, dapat bang, dapat bang i-address na rin yan ng DOT? At least to deny it or to to confirm it, whatever. Uh, well, kami, no? we, we have a hard and fast rule. Uh, once news reaches X engagement, kailangan ng i-address. That's a hard and fast rule for, for practitioners like myself. And definitely, gaya na nasabi mo, uh, Christian, uh, this news, this chismis about a supposed uh, a very uh, influential uh, individual na nag-ano daw, na allegedly tila siya ang uh, nag-control ng... Uh, ng pag-release ng video na to at siya ang nag-produce. Um, it has reached that point way beyond it. I would address it, honestly. But maybe not Secretary Frasco. Uh, I would Sino say, dapat? Siguro some spokesperson or some, you know, uh, representative of the DOT. not Or even just a, ano, a, a blanket, uh, what we call a holding statement from the agency itself. Nah. Diba? Parang regarding regarding these unfounded rumors circulating uh we we categorically deny uh these rumors these are malicious in nature and political in you know, politically motivated sobrana uh <laughs> but you know i would i would issue a blanket denial at this point because ano na eh, threshold na eh. sa amin kasi uh 1000 engagement and 100 shares kailangan ng i-address yun eh eh lagpas na more than lagpas na lagpas na okay Ito pang huli, pag-usapan natin yung lessons ito. No? For instance, hindi ba na, parang nakakatakot na rin to para sa mga ad agencies to, let's say, deal with the government? Ko, Napaka- dahil dito sa nangyari? Ang laki-laki ng DDB, no? Napakagandang tanong, iyan Napakagandang tanong. Uh, especially for in the in the context of DOT. No? And I think you're the only person na, uh, well, I don't want to say brave enough because it doesn't, it's not really a... a, a a function of guts, no? But I think you're the only person insightful enough to ask such a good question, which should really be one of the angles we're looking at. Uh, in the context of the DOT, ilang ahensya na ang sinisante ng DOT? Parang every campaign na lang sinisisante yung ahensya. Uh, it happened with um, uh, Before It's More Fun. May isang sinisante dahil ano daw, plinagerized daw yung polls ka. Uh, hmm. And then before that, there was another agency that was... Uh, that was some um, fired as well unceremoniously so you have to ask yourself um do i want to deal with an administration wherein potentially if there is a hiccup i will be left holding the bag and it will be my sole responsibility uh i will be villainized and vilified so these are things we have to think about for for future lessons because eh. i will say it i've said it once i'll say it again uh may ano talaga may may oversight ng DDB dito meron talaga i mean using foreign clips for a mood video about the philippines that's uh, unfathomable and unforgivable but uh to crucify them solely when it is a shared responsibility i think is a bit heavy-handed and maybe goes into the territory of unfair 
Oh, why? Tsaka, do you think how how big a hit uh, is DDB taking because of all this? Uh, well, They're big boys naman, definitely. Pero, oh, I mean, big boys yan. Tingin ko, hindi naman how big a hit is this? Uh, tingin, ko, tingin ko, they will weather this uh, handily. Uh, even right now, we're already seeing uh, a slew of love DDB um, ano, material on your wall. I don't know if you've seen it on your on social media, pero meron nang lumalabas Ay, hindi, hindi love DDB. So they will weather this. Uh, they took a reputational hit now. Um, Siyempre, there will be sneakers. There will be, alam mo naman ang Pilipino, kaya alas ka dure, di ba? Parang, oy, mm-hmm. DDB, o oh, ano, ano, gagamit na ng mga in-stock footage. Pero tingin ko, hindi mawawala ng kliyente yan. Such a mighty agency, award-winning. Tingin ko, hindi naman sila mawawala ng kliyente. Okay, pero hindi ba marang, ano to, panakot naman sa ibang agencies na miski gusto mo mag-contribute. Kasi it takes a lot of uh, passion also to to get involved in such a project with the government. Kasi you're, you're going to sell your country. Diba? Talagang i-advertise mo yung bansa mo. So, hindi lang yan pera-pera, I suppose. Diba? Talagang it takes a lot of passion also. From your lips to God's ears, uh, Christian Isguera, it, it it should be. That should be the the ano, the sentiment. Uh, that should at least be the passion that you go into a project uh, as weighty, as significant as selling the Philippines. Dapat ganyan talaga. Uh, hmm. So, DDB has expressed its heartfelt apology Baka dapat the DOT also sees it that way. That, uh, you know, this is more than money. This is more than may public funds mang ginamit. Uh, this is, wow, the very fabric of our nationhood and our national identity we're trying to sell. Uh, how could we have made that oversight? So dapat ganun kasinsero yung, ano, yung apology. Yung mga gusto kong sabihin, pero ayaw kong tapusin ito interview in a, in a negative note. no So, ganyan. Gawin natin aspirational yeah, yung pagkatapos yeah, yeah. sa ating interview. Parate ayaw naman. Ayaw ka naman mga pa eh. <laughs> Oo, parate naman. Parate naman. Kung nagustuhan nyo po itong video na ito, pakilike at share na lang po para mas maraya pong makakita at makapanood. Kung gusto nyo pong makibalita, follow nyo na rin po ako sa aking mga social media accounts na nakasulat po sa screen. Pwede rin po kayo magpadala ng super thanks, super like, super chat at super sticker sa YouTube saka Facebook stars po. Alam nyo po, malayo po mararating nito para baka gawa pa po kami ng mas maraming video na makatutulong po sa pagpapakalat ng tamang impormasyon para sa bawat Pilipino. Kada like, subscribe, follow at share ay pagsuporta po sa tunay na independent journalism sa bansa. Maraming maraming salamat po.